drops it in. Down this flank. Nilsson. Still in play. Should have left it, it was going out of him. <gasps> yeah, no! Well, it's a Soviet point. And complaints again from the crowd. And complaints this time from Gustafsson. Didn't like that at all. It did look very marginal, didn't it? But 3 2 it is. The score stands. Soviet Union, and they serve in the final set. Two sets apiece. But the squeeze all the way back. Christensen, the coach. He's aging visibly. It's 3 3. Tulsa will serve number 14 for Sweden. 3-3, three, three, final set. Two sets each. That's just in on the line. 3-2, Soviets lead. Kuznetsov to thank for that. So Rakolet. Krizelnikov. The windmilling serve. And it's dug back. Faint at the net. Oh, the deception. Not clever enough to deceive the Soviets, and they lead 5-3. That was a very, very risky ball to play. Gustafsson didn't uh, outthink or nor outwit the Soviets. Kozilnikov windmills it in over more, and that's a nice, acutely angled downward spike. Gustafsson crashes it home. Almost sunk that ball into the floorboards. And both teams are going to be running for everything. Nice blocking from the Soviets. Sapega, 6-4. Slow hand clap. It's not meant to demean the Swedish performance. It's just to egg them on. And crowd very much behind them. And the crowd have been very important in this game because they've lifted the Swedes to possibly their greatest ever international game. And a timeout is called by the Swedes just to try, perhaps, to break up the Soviet rhythm. The Soviets do seem to have got into some kind of rhythm at a very, very crucial time. Well, we're having a, a few technical problems, so we'll apologize for the uh, slight disturbances you may be receiving. But I'm sure it won't detract from your enjoyment of what has so far been the mash of the European Championships. Hammered away there, Bjorna. Beautifully struck. Went through the Soviet defense like an axe in softwood. And they serve. Gustafsson brings home the point with a magnificent service that has the Soviets all over the place. What a competitor this guy is. And the Soviets this time take pause to breathe. And they won't like what they're seeing. Their lead has been nibbled away at by a ferocious Swedish side who now are being buoyed up all the time by a home crowd. 16,000 or thereabouts of them. Look at that beautiful flying, leaping serve. Full body weight traveling in the same direction as the ball at the moment of impact. Here he is again. Can he repeat the dosage? Well, we'll see. Here he comes. Bang, it's another good one. The Soviets. Managed to regroup themselves in time and counter that one. And they turn around now. First team to reach eight points. But it's still very tight. On a rally point system, when you reach eight points, you swap round. Eight, six. Close as you like. And a complete reversal of the form book here. A lot of people expected 
the Soviets to crush the Swedes. In fact, they've done anything but that. The Swedes have had them under pressure for long periods. The Soviets, true to form, have responded, but we're still in the final set, and it's a Pega to serve for the Soviet Union's 8-6. They lead. Make that 8-7. Heider Gord cropping up at the right moment. Left hand side spiking it diagonally. 7 8. Well dug. Good anticipation. Oof. What a rally. Still in. Oh. Well, no, it's still in play. Still in play. Oh, what a blistering rally then. Eventually struck out by the Swedes, but the longest rally of the entire match, and in my book at least, the best. But it gives the Soviets a very important point, and it's a very physically draining rally for the Swedes. 9-7 they trail, but superb stuff. And this game eclipsing anything we've seen so far in terms of pure drama. 8-9, Sweden to serve. Rally points, final set. Bjorna will serve. He served well so far, fairly reliable. Sweden needs some continuity now. Still up. That's their point! They're back on level terms. 9-9, nine, nine, final set. Either side, only six points away from a place in the European finals. And let's be honest, the winner of this semi is going to be installed as a firm favourite. Referee makes a judgment there. And it's 10-9 to Sweden. Looked a bit marginal, but nobody's complaining in Sweden. It's a timeout. Sweden have the slightest of edges in this game, but they have it at perhaps the most crucial mark in the entire contest in the entire championships you are watching the most dramatic finale of a volleyball game of this standards we have seen in years and we are on the brink of perhaps the upset of the decade sweden have the lead it's only a point but it's in the final set of the semi-final against the soviet union if you're just joining eurosport you have missed one hell of a contest, but stay with the climax. Bjorn serves for Sweden. It's not dead. And all that. Still up. But it's out. And Soviets almost inexorably draw back. Vilda comes on the tour, Ramon Vilda comes on and the diminutive by comparison Krizolnikov goes off this will be a tactical play I'm sure just to get the Soviets on the board one more time it's a high lofted service Soviets confused by that Swedes under pressure that's out level pegging once more in fact Sweden I'm getting so carried away with the pure drama of it myself 11-10, Sweden lead. In fact, I'm getting so carried away, I missed the substitution. It was, in fact, as I guessed, a tactical one, and the players have reversed positions once more. Hedda Gord there in focus. Nilsson will serve. Again, a little break-up in your vision, for which we apologise. Soviets.
fighting for everything now. Look at that beautiful backcourt coverage, still composed. But not that time, into the net. Well, this is incredible. Look at Hedegaard there, did you see him? Can hardly believe it himself. Come on, he says. We've almost done it. Carlson comes on. Hedegaard going off. One of those little tactical plays, perhaps. Just for a point, but everyone matters. Every rally scores, and Sweden now have a two points advantage. In the final set, they stand three points away from a place in the finals of the European Championships. But the Soviets inch their way back. Kuds nets off, and it's very dangerous to write them off at any stage in any competition. Shatunov will serve his side 11 12 down. Faint at the net. Didn't fool the Soviet block. Good play. Kuds nets off, squares it off once more 12 12. If you can find me a volleyball script writer who can give you a more dramatic contest than this, well, I'd thank you very much indeed. On the line, I think, it is indeed 13 to 12. Sweden, two points away, they're getting there. The Soviets can't believe the pressure that they're under. It's still up, but not for long. And we're back to level pegging, 13-13. Not that tactical movement. No, in fact, it's Tulsa who's off now. Seth is back. Kozilnikov. It's a great man to have in a crisis. It's a good serve as well. Great penetration. That's good! That's a very significant point to win indeed because it makes Sweden within a point of a place in the finals. 14-13, have we the upset of the decade? Well, not yet we don't, as it's 14-14, and that ball jammed away by Kuznetsov. 14-14, still a two-point winning margin needed, despite the fact that it's the final set. 14-14. And yet, for the second time, Sweden drag themselves back. They've got a point, and you can see the ecstasy in the crowd. Semi-final ball coming up, a place in the final. Gustafsson, who served superbly well, can he produce it again? It'll be a flyer. No, so anticlimactic at the crucial time. He crumbled. Sepega, by contrast, the complete refrigerator, cold as ice. Yes! Third time of asking. Surely, surely they will take it this time. 16 to 15, with the Swedish serving for a place in the finals of the European Championships. On home soil, Seth will serve. It's not a good one. They've done it! They've done it! Sweden have produced the shock of the decade! They have beaten the Soviet Union 70 to 15 in the final set. Three sets to two. They have secured a place in the final of the European Championship.